I'm calling the weed. 420, what you smoking? Oh, a cool ambulance. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James. All right, folks, today I'm going to show you how I use my Android device to stream directly to Twitch. This will just be a quick rundown, but a few things before we get started. You do need an Android device that has 5G capability. Uh, these are the devices that allow internal recording. Um, previously, the only way to record any audio from your phone was to output it through speakerphone and record it in your mic, and that sounds terrible. So that's like the biggest thing, and if you are having problems with your stream and it's not recording audio, that is the issue. You need a 5G capable device that allows internal recording. Um, after internal recording, I would say microphone quality is the next most important aspect of a mobile stream. I use uh, wired headsets, uh, it works just fine, but what you don't want to do is not have a pair of headphones plugged in. Otherwise, it just records through your phone microphone and it sounds like you're in a giant bathroom. It just echoey and it just sounds bad. You can hear your mom in the back watching TV. It's the worst all right so with those things in mind let's get into it uh you're gonna go to the play store download the app it's called camerify live um, it is the first app that i found that actually allows an internal recording which is very important like i stressed um, so once you get that installed let's go ahead and launch it you have two options camera or screen i'm gonna stick with screen and twitch um, you can go youtube facebook other options let's just go with twitch i'm gonna hit start you're gonna get a streamer bubble let's pop it out show you guys what we got in here all right, so let's dive into this quick pop-out menu. Um, home takes you back to your output options, Facebook, Twitch, YouTube. You won't use that that much, but it's there. Camera turns the floating bubble into the front-facing camera, which you can then make big or small, and then move anywhere you would like. And like I said, it does become the button for the pop-out menu, which is pretty neat. Uh, let's go ahead and close that for now. Audio brings up your audio mixer. If you have a game launched, it will be there too. Uh, very, very, very important because you are mobile streaming quality is very important um, you have to balance your audio uh, make a recording listen to it if your voice is too loud make the adjustment if your game's too quiet make the adjustment it's just very important it's tedious but you have to do it it's not gonna be perfect every device is different you're not gonna find a tutorial how to do it you just got to do it uh, mute turns your microphone off uh, but the most important thing on this menu Privacy. Um, you can have privacy with your mic open so you can talk and have your screen muted at the same time. So by default, it mutes yourself as you hit privacy, but you, like I said, you can unmute and talk while it's outputting. Um, the privacy effect is defaulted at stream starting soon, but you can download other options. And this is what it outputs to your stream while you're texting back your friend or whatever you're doing that you don't want stream to see. Like I said, privacy is very, very, very important. So make sure you keep that in mind when you're streaming. You can always just cut off connection essentially and display one of those options. Um, so yeah. And the last option on the pop-up menu is overlay. This is how you get your stream alerts, uh, follows, subs, or if you want text on the screen, you can have five layers. That's pretty much all your phone is gonna be able to handle anyway. Um, I use stream elements, uh, chat box to have my chat on the screen what have you uh, here I'll show you guys um, stream labs alert box or widgets and then on the top you want to keep this hidden which is why I use privacy mode which is what I'm doing right now on my phone while I'm showing you this I'm popping one out so you hit copy and then let's say we go back to camerify recording I already pasted it but it'll bring up something like this and then you paste it and then you just hit okay and then it shows up like this you can make it bigger, smaller. So like number one is my chat. So obviously I am recording vertically right now, but if I were in a game, my phone would be sideways and I can move this accordingly. And then you can lock it in. You can make it more opaque. The default setting is fine, but if you want it to be invisible or more see-through for the stream, cause it, it does, it's intrusive. It takes up a lot of your screen. It's a mobile game. Um, you can make it more opaque and see-through. So let's go ahead and just get rid of that. But you can have up to five layers, like I said. All right, now that I got the pop-out menu explained, let's go ahead and dive into the advanced settings. There's a cog in the bottom right-hand corner. It's gonna pop out the server settings. Uh, that's just your closest Twitch server, um, channel, login, give your token, title, game, tag, self-explanatory stuff. Um, this next section is the meat and bones, the stream quality. This is where you're gonna have to do a lot of work yourself. You're gonna have to change a setting, go live for two minutes, watch the VOD, 
make adjustments. Um, every streamer has to do it. If you have somebody in your chat, it's a lot easier. Um, good luck. It's every device is different. Everybody's signal is different. Everybody's phone's memory is different. If your phone's full of memory, it's going to run slower. So you can't do other things. You're just going to have to tweak it. Um, you can stream and save the video at the same time. If you have a device that's good enough, I don't. Um, so yeah. All right, screen scale type is definitely a preference setting. Um, fit to center is what I use for horizontal games, most most streams. Uh, center crop is for vertical games. Uh, just play around with it, see what you like. Um, audio, very, very, very important. Um, it's going to default to just mic. When you click on it, you can do mic and internal sound, which is what you're going to want. Um, it might default back to mic if you launch the app and you don't have your headphones plugged in. Just keep that in mind. Go ahead and hit OK. It's going to bring up this, um, basically saying if all other settings are correct and you're still not getting internal recording, it could be that the game developers haven't OK'd internal recording yet for copyright reasons. So just go to their Google Play, send them an email, and you'll get an explanation or they can even enable it. Um, and then it's going to bring up this, which is basically... Um, Privacy, like I've stressed in the past, this is a cell phone. This is your personal cell phone. There's personal information always, everywhere, one click of a button. Oops, you brought up something you didn't want to. This is just a warning, so keep that in mind. Um, the next tab is effects. Uh, pretty irrelevant for streaming. The only thing is private effect. That's for what happens when you hit private button. Uh, dynamic image and text are for internal recording, um, not yet available to outputting to stream. All right, and then the last relevant settings tab is screen mode. Floating action button, you can change it to transparent or non-existent, or we'll do user profile, because that's what I usually use. Um, watermark, none, because I'm a paid user. Uh, if you like the app and want to support it, you can pay monthly and not have watermark or get a few more options. Overlay is the same in the pop-out menu. Um, chat toast is usually pops up when you hit live below the audio and you can turn it on or off in the settings. Uh, basically, it's the chat in the top right-hand corner pops up for about five seconds and then disappears. I prefer to use a overlay for it um, so it stays on the screen until the next person chats and then it moves off the screen. So it's just another personal option for you. Overlay and web overlay resolution, just leave the default. Um, shop to upgrade and then their beta stuff and help and feedback. So pretty much it, guys. All right, guys, so now we're actually using Camerify Live to make an internal recording. You can uh, output to Twitch all the same. There will just be a chat function on the pop-up bubble right here. Uh, I just want to show you how I set up my streams or uh, some pro tips and pretty much give you guys some gameplay. Um, so first and foremost, I usually like to uh, play some music. So let's go ahead and uh, start that. It's going to be a little bit loud at first, but you'll see that I'll go to my Sound Assistant app and I will manage... Just like in the Camerify app um, under audio, uh, you'll have to use an external source to manage outside apps such as YouTube. So here we go. It might sound a little loud. And then go to this app. Let's get it down to about 58%. Sounds better. All right. And then let's just get you guys some gameplay. This game is called Last Day on Earth. It is a Kafir game, uh, survival kind of zombie apocalypse vibes and whatnot, customize your base. Um, I do stream Monday through Friday on Twitch using Camerify Live, uh, 7 a.m. Central to about noon, sometimes longer, and then I have a nice PC set up for my weeknights and uh, weekend streams. So yeah, this is what uh, Last Day on Earth looks like, it's pretty nice. Um, let's go ahead and dive into a different game. Let's just do COD Mobile, why not? All right, and then training mode, sure. All right, and this is what a first-person shooter might look. It's a little bit more stressing on phones, so I could imagine this is going to be hard for some people to stream or record because this game is a bit demanding. But uh, here you go, guys. Pretty neat. Oh, my God, I haven't played this game in so long. It wanted me to update, like, three gigs worth of stuff when I first launched it to, just to make this video, so interesting. So yeah, if you guys have any questions, make sure you just leave a comment. Um, I, you know, will respond to all of them. <laughs> uh, I just want everybody to be able to stream and get a following and, you know, just do something. So yeah, 
give Camify Live a shot. All right, I think I'm gonna sign off now. Peace out, guys. Stay safe. Be good people. Why? 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 I'm calling the weed. 420. What you smoking? Oh, a cool ambulance. LeBron James. LeBron James. LeBron James.